I have spent thousands of hours on Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, but today I'm going to be putting my knowledge to the test and seeing if I can cross the entire Red Dead Redemption 1 map without a map. So I'm starting down here in Mexico and I'm going to be ending all the way up here in Blackwater. So I mean yeah, the only rule is I can't use fast travel and obviously can't use the map. Right, so I think I have to start off going this way. Yeah, that's that um, Escalera, that's Escalera down there. So uh, I can't even look at my horse's stamina, so I don't even know if he's about to like buck me off or anything. The only way to cross the water here is by that bridge over there, which I can already see. Right, so here's the bridge. Uh, I'm gonna go up here. So this should take me into uh, New Austin. Just need to watch out for a train. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. What? 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 Don't fall. Oh, I'm dead. Out of all the things, I die by falling off a bridge. So I'm back where I started. Uh, I'm going to have to do this entire journey again. Where's my horse? This time I'll try not to fall off. Um, another thing is that if you haven't played Red Dead 1, you need to know that uh, you can't actually swim. Which is why I had to go over the bridge and so just, you know, swim through. Um, oh wait, I know where we are. That's, um, that place with the basement and then over here should be Benedict Point. Another thing that I might do is, uh, this video on Red Dead 2 would be much harder because I'd have to do everything that I'm doing now and then a whole, like, new section of the map. I think I'm going to try to get to Armadillo and then from there I think it should be pretty straightforward. Return the wax stolen wagon. Uh, I don't know which one, but if I had to guess, it's this one down here. Okay, it could. If that guy wasn't the guy that, you know, stole the wagon, then... I mean, I would have just killed a random guy, but here, alright. I'm getting a bit sidetracked, but you gotta help a lady out when her wagon's been stolen. Alright, ma'am, here's your wagon. I was brought up to be a gentleman. Kind of. You're welcome, ma'am. You could have at least given me some money, but sure. Anyway, uh, oh, I can see Armadillo down there. I feel like everything that comes after Armadillo will be quite easy, just because there's so many Red Dead Redemption 2 missions that take place there. And of course, obviously, a lot of Red Dead Redemption 1 missions. You know what, whilst we're here, let's have a game of poker. First, Herbert Moon is racist, and then he beats me in poker. Now let's get out before the town sees that I just killed the beloved general store owner. Right, but yeah, I need to go up that little, like, cliff there, and I should end up in near McFarlane's Ranch, which I know the way from there. Right, yeah, I know exactly where we are. Here we are, McFarlane's Ranch. I'm definitely not doing this because I want the video to be longer, but let's play a game of horseshoes. Alright, I'll be honest, I'm not very good at this. Alright, how do I do this? I literally just dropped out of my hand. Wait, okay, okay, I get another go, good. <laughs> Alright, so, how do I do this? Alright, so, I think that looks good, I guess. Alright, and, and go! Uh, that wasn't the best. Alright, come on, this is going to be a ringer. Is that what it's called? I don't know, it feels like I just said something racist, but alright, let's go. I overshot it, but it actually wasn't that bad. Oh, I overshot it. That one was alright, though. What is my horse doing in the back? Alright, come on. I got this. I haven't got this. I'm quitting. So... Well, well done. You know what? Good game. You know, I'm not going to kill you like I did with Herbert Moon. I'm just kidding. You're dead. Alright, so next place I need to get to is Thieves Landing, which... um, Oh no, I've got a bounty. I need to do this quick. I I'm like on a time limit now. Uh, I need to get to like a swampy area. These trees look a bit swampy. Maybe this is the right direction. Wait. How did I end up down here? How did I get over to Seth's house? I may have not been where I was heading, but at least I know where I am. I'm pretty sure if I just go over here, we should reach either Thieves Landing or that swampy area that I was talking about. Oh yeah, this is it. Wait, this is Thieves Landing as well. Alright, but I do need to be careful passing through here because the people of Thieves Landing aren't very kind. Ah, oh. apparently I did get a good night's rest because they didn't attack me. Oh, be careful of this bridge. We should see Beach's Hope, and then we should see Blackwater. Oh, not these people again. 
I saw these people on a live stream and it didn't end well. But let's just say one of them lit a cigar and they, they you know, they're playing with dynamite. Not going to end well. I'm going to save them some time. I'm just going to do it for them. That guy went flying. Oh wait, I didn't even realize we were right next to Beach's Hope. Hopefully the officers in Blackwater don't mind, but I've just killed about 17 people on my way here. As soon as I cross these train tracks, I finish the challenge. You know what, let's do it in style. I'm going to jump over. There we go. So, success, we did it. Uh, hey officer, do you mind that I killed a bunch of people on my way here? Did you just insult me? Alright, I'm going to do my outro before I die. Uh, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you all next time.